Hi, hello and welcome to autopassingtools.com uh, Today I'm going to show you how you can scrape ads from Craigslist and then use them for your own um, for your own ads So in this case uh, we have here the software which is the Craigslist auto posting software In this case I have already a video showing you how this uh, posting works so you can watch it on my on autopostingtools.com uh, But now, um, like some people ask me how do I extract ads and how do I paste them on onto the software? So how can I create one ad? So to create one ad, the first thing that you do is basically you fill out all your information for your account and then you go to the ad section, you put new ad, and then this is going to open a new window where you can just basically like select your campaign if you don't have campaigns just click this button add new campaign and then you can create campaigns based on the kind of ads that you want to do so for example if i were to uh, post on a city called montreal the and all my ads i want to post them from montreal i just create a campaign and i save it or if i wanted to create a campaign for uh, electronics so i do a campaign and i save it once it's save it, basically what I can do is I can just go here and choose it. Once this save it, then what is going to happen is that I'm going to be able to select that I want to post by campaign and basically I'm going to be able to select the campaign that I just created. This is for you to post only those specific ads on that campaign. Now, you can put your title, which it has to be below 68 characters. You can put your body and you can use the mega spinner. So basically the title will be like my title. Then the body will be like my body. And you just fill it out until you finish with all the information. You can click this button to remove the information from there. And you can use the mega spinner. The, the mega spinner is pretty cool because it's going to allow you to generate multiple variations of the same ad. So for example, uh, so you could do, I will work in the area, and then you could just put here multiple options like New York, you could put like Manhattan, uh, but like obviously with the right grammar, uh, Brooklyn, whatever, and you keep adding more and more, so like, I don't know, like Miami. And then you put generate the spin text, and this is the spin text for this specific section. You could do a spin text bigger than this, like maybe a few words instead of only one. And when you put it together, basically this is going to give you multiple variations of this. So make a spinner. You see, it gives you multiple variations of the same ad. And you can just put uh, more, more stuff there in 2017. Uh, 2018 this is just a sample obviously you will do it like it will make sense but if you copy this you paste it there and then make a spinner and then you can just uh, change this information and every time it will post one ad it's going to post one of these variations so you can click on this copy and then you can just paste it here and that will be the body of your ad or if you want to do it, you could also do it as the title. But when you do it for the title, obviously you will surpass the 68 characters. Just make sure that whenever you spin the ad, like it's it's below like uh, 68. So just do a few spins just to make sure that the ad it's below the the quantity that you want here. So you don't surpass the 68 characters. And basically you fill out all the information and basically you fill out everything until you run out of uh, like fields to fill out here you can just look for an image then you can just basically select post image io or tiny peak or photo bucket upload your image and then you will get your url of the image and then you paste it here and if you want to post more, more images you can post up to eight images right now and you put the URL of the image that you were uploading on the internet and then finally you save your ad so if you were to create the ads uh, you have more uh, information to fill out here depending on the section where you want to post so just fill it out completely and then just save your ad in this case uh, 
this process sometimes takes a long time so you want to have some ads already made for you and what better uh, way to get the ads than getting the ads from uh, directly from Craigslist. So this is what the video is basically about, creating one ad. So I just will save this ad so you see how it's going to appear. So the ad appeared on the last one here and then this is the spin text and then this is the version that is going to be posted. So every time it gets selected it's going to change this. So every time it's going to get selected by the posting timer this is going to be changing and every time it's going to post a different title with a different body this way you always uh, have a different ad now i'm going to erase this because this was just a sample but uh, basically that's the process that you have to follow to create one ad now in this case we're going to extract the ads from craigslist so if you go to craigslist basically you will have something like this and you have multiple categories and it just depends on where you want to extract information from so for example if i were to be uh, selling a service like for example for uh, cellulars and mobiles this is the url of my of my ad so what i would be doing is i will be copying this and putting it into a notepad so i have it available for when i'm going to be doing the replacement so now uh, when I do this, uh, this is for Toronto. If you do it for, um, if you do it, uh, so that's for Toronto. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how uh, it's done with uh, some list that I have here. So I can just copy this, copy this URL, and I can paste it here, and then I click Get Ads. This is going to get the ads for this page. So you will see Apple 6 replacement. So you can just go to Apple 6 replacement. So what you could do with this is that you could create one for Toronto for the mobile. You can come back here and change for a different category. In this case, you could do Kingston. And then you could just copy this. Well, Kingston doesn't have anything, so let's just look for another one. So you could do Albany, New York, and you can just copy that. And you could have a list of all these URLs with all these different companies, you know, like this was Albany, then you could have one for uh, New York, and Manhattan, and so on. So you have a list of all the different places where you want to extract information. Uh, the reason we do this is because once you have the file, you can just go load and open. I have some files here that I did as a sample before. So you can just select this, for example, for creative services. So if you're promoting something on creating services, you click open. And then this gives you 514 URLs that you can use to extract information. So you can just click select random. And this is going to change the URL that you have here. Uh, sometimes it's easier if you have the Excel file. So you select a random city and then you select which one uh, you want and then you click get ads. This is going to get you the title, the URL of the ad and the date of the ad when it was posted. So what, why we will want to do this? So basically like this, we have an idea of like, for example, iPhone and Android application development. If I were interested in doing something like this, what I could do is I could just select this ad and then you like select that from here. It's going to show up on this web browser and then I just click use this ad. And basically everything will be copied for me into here. So what I can do with this is I can just go control C, do mega spinner and then do some uh, variations of that. So, so app application development. So you could change this to app development. So uh, application um, for the phone. Obviously, this is just uh, examples. You will do something that makes sense. And then you just put Android for this one. And then you put, uh, you will do something for desktop. So desktop application development or software development. And basically you could just generate the spin text and this will be all your titles. And you could just copy this 
and paste it here. So this time, every time you post one ad, it's, if it's spin it, it's going to have a different title, as you see. And that way you will have like more options of posting the same ad multiple times without Craigslist having a problem with it. So you could do the same thing for this. Make a spinner. You put it here on this because this is your sample. And then you do the, the variations for the iPhone, whatever. So you put that. This is the same thing that we did previously. So iPhone, so you do Android application and then you put iPhone application development and then you do like together and then just pin the text and you put it onto the first one. <coughs> <coughs> now the other one is website design and development so you do the same thing. So you put two, you paste it and then uh, you could put it website together, website development then you could have website design, you could have uh, WordPress design, and then you put generate the spin text and you copy that. And you replace it for the number line number two. And you keep this you keep doing the same thing for all your different lines. And then you just basically once you're done, you click make a spinner. And this way you could just test the different changes that you're doing. So you see, this changes every time that I click this and basically it gives me a different variation of the ad. So what I do is I just copy this back and put it into my into my body here. And <coughs> basically I just will fill out everything again and I will save my ad. And once I save it, Again, it's going to go here and it's going to go on this one. So when it's going to go and get posted, just basically it's going to post the different variations that appears here. So spin text, and that way you could have multiple ads running, and basically that's how you create your ads. And it's very easy because what you should do is you should find ads that actually convert. This one, for example, I wouldn't use it at all because it's very small and probably is not going to convert at someone that had, has another ad that has like a little bit more of, of text or that it's more convincing or that it's going to be uh, more appealing for the people. So the way I usually I go about this is that I read the ad. If the ad convinced me that I should buy from this person, basically I want to use that ad because if it convinces me, it's going to convince somebody else. And basically, whenever I get the ad, I can add or modify the ad to my desire, and I can add my email, I can add email, I can add my phone, or I can add anything that I want. And the ad becomes mine. And because I'm going to do be doing a spin text, it doesn't affect me because it's going to be always different. Obviously, if it has like the name of a company, you should change the name of your company for your company or something like that. In this case, uh, also, you're going to be getting ads from multiple different locations. In this case, on my files, uh, as a sample, I have 514. So there is no chance that these other people is going to be looking on your city and it's going to see their ad because you are posting on a completely different city. So if you steal the ads from somebody else, don't steal the ads from your own city because then they will find out and then maybe like call you or something. Anyway, so this was the video. If you um, basically want to get the software, you could get it on autopostingtools.com. And basically it includes uh, the way to manage your accounts, to manage your ads. And it has a web browser where you can go and post your ads there. So here I did post some ads just today and then they went live. And basically if I keep posting, I can renew my previous ads and then I will have always ads running. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you like it. And if you like it, please like this video and share it with other people that can help it that can help them. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.